believe me, if you go to Outer Mongolia and say Roswell, the response from people who don't speak a word of English will be UFO. How many research projects have you done that relate to UFOs and flying saucers? This was the only one. Maybe UNM should consider changing the name of the College of Arts and Sciences to the College of Art and Science Fictions. You know the story. Aliens crash their spaceship near Roswell. The government secretly recovers the debris and a handful of dead ETs. Then the whole thing is covered up. It's either the most important event in human history or one whopper of a tall tale. We have come to visit you in peace. Did it happen? Sorry, Roswell, but there's no scientific proof a flying saucer ever plowed into the New Mexico prairie. There's no GPS, photos, recordings, debris, or little green men for that matter. Zilch, nothing, nada. It's going to take more than the faded memories of a few old timers to turn skeptics into believers. What the UFO community badly needs is scientific evidence. And that's where the University of New Mexico enters the picture. Dick Chapman is director of UNM's Office of Contract Archaeology. We engaged in a highly credible standard archaeological investigation of a, a, a piece of landscape that has been warranted to be the location of a flying saucer event. Yep, you heard it right. UNM on the trail of Roswell's aliens. I thought, wow. This is a real hoot. This is going to be interesting. UNM's Bill what? Dolman headed up the project, which was featured in a TV documentary narrated by Bryant Gumbel. Archaeologists from the University of New Mexico have returned to Roswell with a unique new mission to use the tools of modern science to prove or disprove what some claim is science fiction. We are digging holes in the ground to look for physical evidence of an extraterrestrial vessel impact. Armed with shovels, trowels, and backhoes, UNM dug up a nine-acre piece of prairie northwest of Roswell. The summed evidence from the hearsay level knowledge that really points to this spot as being the a recognized uh, potential crash site. So of a UFO. Based on that, of a UFO. UNM's excavation was funded entirely by the Sci-Fi Channel. TV executives paid UNM thousands of dollars to put the alien crash site under a microscope. We did not go out there looking to prove the existence of a UFO crash at that location in 1947. We went out there to look for evidence of the events that were reported to have happened. UNM probed the prairie in 2002. This past May, the university published its final report. It's a document steeped in controversy. I love science fiction, but that's not what the research division of a university should be putting out. Dave Thomas is a physicist at New Mexico Tech. He also heads up an organization that promotes the use of science in examining unusual claims. I think they did get sucked into you know what basically was a, a massive exercise in, in pseudoscience. The validity of UNM's alien dig is predicated on the assumption that a UFO really did crash. And where it ended up is absolutely critical. You see, if a flying saucer crashed over there, but UNM dug here, then the entire exercise is pointless. If you dug in the wrong place, then what's the value of your excavation? Not much. Sci-Fi Channel really wanted to go dig at the Roswell crash site. The question is, as you put it, where is it? How did you choose the site? We didn't. It was chosen for us. By? The Sci-Fi Channel. UNM's dig location was chosen by two discredited UFO believers, Don Schmidt and Tom Carey. Carey and Schmidt acted as technical advisors to the Sci-Fi Channel. Today they'll take to the air in search of the final resting place of the ill-fated spacecraft. Well, if you were going to undertake a, an expensive scientific project, would you rely on Don Schmidt for where to dig? I sure wouldn't, no. So how did Schmidt and Carey know that a UFO crashed right here? Well, they didn't, and neither did UNM. The digging was science. The choosing of the location was not. UNM's research even caught the attention of the governor. 
In a briefing, Bill Dolman explained how UNM's archaeologists discovered a gouge in the prairie. The exciting part about this was that, wow, we've got a stratigraphic anomaly right where there should be one. Just finding a furrow here at this spot near Corona in no way proves that an alien spaceship crashed there in 1947. The Sci-Fi Channel paid UNM almost $26,000. The excavation lasted two weeks. Bags of dirt and artifacts were recovered for laboratory analysis. But when it was all over, UNM came up empty-handed. Zilch, nothing, nada. Did you find uh, one shred of uh, physical evidence that a UFO crashed at uh, that site? No. Do you fault the University of New Mexico for getting lured into this kind of project? I, I think they would have been wise just to say, we're not gonna do it, find somebody else to do it. That's not what we do, um, pseudoscience for hire. Pseudoscience or not, UNM's contribution to the Roswell legend is memorialized on a carved granite monument erected near the supposed UFO landing site. I think the only thing that would convince the UFO community uh, that nothing happened in Roswell would be for aliens to land on the lawn of the White House and come out and say, guys, we had nothing to do with 1947. That wasn't us. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13.